Good morning, dogs. It's Fur Fur Friday. After the pledge, Rice's Festival, Picture Day, parking passes, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Hutton is putting together a group to perform at the Raices Festival. If you play guitar and are interested, go see Mr. Hutton in the band room. Reminder, the information for the essay contest is in the chatter. Picture Day is coming up next week on Thursday, August 24th. Grades 9 through 11, please click the link in the chatter to order. Seniors, you will be given the code at the time you take your picture. Parking passes are due on Monday. Make sure you have those on your car when they check them or you will be towed. Also, a quick shout out to the middle school football team for starting the series off right against the Bulldogs with the 6-0 victory. Now to our student section leader for tonight's football game at Clint Central, Mr. Aiden Hudspeth. Good morning, my fellow hot dogs. It is Friday, and that means it's one of the biggest games of the year tonight. Instead of the Super Bowl, we're going to start calling this game the Dog Bowl. The nasty county rivals, the Clinton Central Bulldogs versus your very own Frankfurt Hot Dogs. It's going to be a big game, so I better see everyone out at Central at 7 in the student section and making a whole lot of noise for our dogs. Make sure you wear your blue and white. The Hot Dogs won their first match of the season last night against the Danville Warriors with a team score of 3-2 and are 1-0 in conference play. First off the courts were one doubles Carson Hale and Charlie Beardsley. Coach Calver says they did a great job of attacking the net and making Danville uncomfortable with smart offensive shots. In a new placement of three singles, Alex Farley was patient and kept focused on his match to win it in two sets. Then, a last-second substitution, Sam McAtee rose to the challenge and joined Isai Jimenez at two doubles to also fight through some tough moments to win their match. The team is showing determination and grit early on in the season. Next match is at home against Benton Central tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Good luck, boys. Last night, the volleyball team traveled to Southmont to face the Mounties. They came out strong, winning the first two sets, but unfortunately couldn't pull out with the win, losing the remaining three sets. The team is looking to bounce back as they travel to Faith to compete in the Eagle Invite tomorrow morning. Nice effort, ladies. Results have also come in from the soccer game last night. The boys hosted the Weibo Stars here at home and came out with a very strong bounce back win after losing their season opener earlier on this week. They had an easy 6-1 to win, six to one win and the boys next match is here at home tomorrow at 9 a.m. for the Frankfurt Invite. Good luck and nice win dogs. The girls team traveled to Sheridan, Sheridan last night where the game unfortunately got canceled due to weather. The game is yet to have a rescheduled date. Along with all the other events going on tomorrow morning, the girls and boys cross-country teams are traveling to Logan Sport for the Jacob Graff invite. Huge good luck to them. And that just about wraps up sports for today. Good luck to all teams competing over the weekend, and I better see everyone out at Central tonight for the Dog Bowl. Hope everyone has a fantastic Friday, and I'll see everyone back after the weekend. Now to your interview man himself, who recently just caught up with the football team, Mr. Kai Stephen Kirby. What's up, dogs? Kai Kirby here. Say I caught up with the football team. This is what they had to say. Um, just to be a lot more physical, uh, get out there, play hard. We definitely want to be a lot better than we were last year, and we got to hold a high standard for that. You pay attention to all the young guys that are in your same position and you just help them out any way you can from experience. It feels good. I mean, time flies. It doesn't feel real yet. Our goals this season are to play as a team and be physical every time we go out there, be the most physical team on the, on the field, 
and see our guys get better every game. Uh, we've had a tremendous open to the season and, and great uh, practices, and, and we're really excited about the, the group of guys that we have this year and really excited about the teamwork that we have. And we just want to see you know, it all come together at the right time and be competitive and go out there and have fun. Um, it feels like, it doesn't feel real, you know? You step into the senior shoes and you're just like, man, this is it. Because those four years go by in the blink of an eye. As leaders, um, I feel like it's kind of our job to step up and coach up the younger guys because, you know, I, my freshman year, uh, they took me under their wing, so I feel like it's my job to return the favor. You know, leadership is something that's super valuable. Um, and I think last year we had a, I mean, we all enjoyed playing football, but it wasn't like we were all together. This year we had, like tried to um, communicate like leadership is key, like being together as one team. You know, you're not gonna win a football game with one guy. Football is probably the hardest, hardest sport there is. Uh, just because you got to have 11 guys out there doing their job. So you got to come together if you want to win games. Uh, the experience level is different this year. We got uh, 11 seniors on the team, and nine of them have played all four years of high school football. And so just their, their football knowledge and the amount of situations they've been in um, has been tremendous. Uh, last year's senior group was, was great. They're a great group of guys, um, but they were all relatively new to the sport. Um, whereas this year's senior class um, are a bunch of seasoned veterans. Definitely been trying to get bigger uh, and a lot faster for sure, just to work on being more physical, being more tough. Uh, we start in January for the off season for us and, and our guys lift and we, we run and we do a lot of plyometrics and explosive work and it's really paid off. Um, we've had a lot of guys come a long way uh, in terms of their strength and their speed, and you can really see that out on the field this year. You know, being a senior is, uh, it hits different, you know. You think about it, you come in your freshman year, you're like, dang, you know, I got four years, man. Like, I just want to get out of here. And now it's here, I'm like, I wish I could go back and do so many different things. Um, but, you know, I'm going to try to make this senior most impactful as I can. Never won a sectional, so there's the goal to do that in football and basketball. Um, but yeah, it definitely feels a little weird. That's what they had to say. Make sure you go support them at their first game tonight at Central. Kicks off at 7. Make sure you wear your blue and white. Thanks for that interview, Kai. Now we're going to send it to our weather lady, Ingrid. Thank you, Aiden. Happy Friday, hot dogs. We started off with a low of 53 degrees this morning, and we had some high winds coming into school. And our high is 76 degrees starting at 4 p.m. It will be sunny and we'll have clear skies for the most of the day. So go out and enjoy the weather. Looks like that's it for weather. Now back to your hosts. For lunch today in lines 1 and 2 will be breakfast bagel with cheese stick. And in lines 3 and 4 will be barbecue sandwich. We would like to wish a big happy birthday to Maribel Bello, Alex Lopez Angeles, and Caleb Sanchez. That's it for the announcements today, dogs. Make sure you come to the game tonight and support me and my teammates. Have a fantastic Friday. And cut.